Okay, so today we're going to talk about the hidden um, cost of being a driver um, that, believe it or not, your teenager may not know this. Now, whether that's just because times have changed or whether whether we spoil our, our teenagers too much, I don't know, but things that were, I guess, common sense to us, um, probably because our parents made us pay for our own everything, uh, but stuff that was just common sense to us, some teenagers today uh, just don't understand. Uh, for instance, a real small one is, uh, let's say they're going to a concert and they're going to park. Uh, a lot of them have ATM cards now. They don't even carry cash. You, you got, you're talking about cash. They don't even know what cash is. So they show up and, and uh, they're going to park their car and, uh, you know, the parking lot attendant says, you know, five bucks or ten bucks. Some of them don't even have cash. So, because <laughs> they use a debit card or they use a credit card for everything. So. Um, you know, just believe it or not, you got to tell your kid, hey, keep keep some green green stuff, keep some green bills in your pocket for stuff just like that. Um, if you pay the insurance on your 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 kid's vehicle, you know he may not or she may not understand how much that is. A lot of teenagers think I don't need insurance. What the hell do I need insurance for? You know, I've I've got an old beat up car. I didn't pay much for it anyway. I don't need insurance. Well. You know, first of all, it's the law, uh, and they're going to get a ticket, and that's going to be expensive. Uh, second of all, what if they hurt somebody? Uh, uh, you know, or what if somebody hurts them, and they don't have insurance? Or what if somebody smashes into them, and they're not hurt, but their car gets ruined, and the person that runs into them doesn't have insurance? Um, or same thing, what if your teenager runs into somebody else, and whether they hurt them or not, let's say they just damaged their vehicle. You know, how, how are they going to pay that? Do uh, you want somebody going to court and getting a judgment against them? Um, so, you know, kids just, teenagers need to understand they need to get car insurance. Um, same thing with oil and, and all the fluids in the vehicle. Uh, you know, they need to understand how important it is to change those fluids and keep them, you know, keep the levels up. Uh, you know, you, you ruin your car, you'll seize up the block and, and, uh, you know, power power steering, uh, power brakes, uh, you know, everything is hydraulic uh, pretty much these days. So, uh, you know, make sure they understand that. Make sure they understand how to do maintenance. Um, gas, uh, obviously if they're paying for their own gas, they understand that. But if they're borrowing your car or, uh, you know, you're filling their car up, some of them have no clue what gas even costs. So, um, again, just, you know, Make sure they understand that. Um, alignments. Uh, you know, Corpus Christi has some of the worst uh, streets <laughs> probably in America. Um, you know, just driving down a, 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 any street in this town and you can hit a pothole and knock the car out of alignment. And, you know, I, I guarantee you they have no idea what an alignment costs. Um, or a new tire. I mean, they can they can ruin their tires by hitting some of these potholes too. Um, and then of course traffic tickets and traffic accidents. You know, again, I guess they'll learn once they once they're in an accident or once they get a traffic ticket. But um, and hopefully you aren't paying paying those tickets for them. Um, but uh, you know that's just something else you need to be aware of. So when you're coaching your teenager. Uh, just, you know, just there's some ideas of things you should go over with them. So thanks, and that's all for today.